Hello and welcome back to my Drone How video series. My name is Raido Boost and in this episode we continue with our point clouds. So in my previous videos we have taken a look how to generate a point cloud from a drone survey but we also did one example in where we combined landboard LiDAR data as point cloud as well. Now the next question is how we can coordinate those point clouds or how we can watch those point clouds together. Well, it's very easy because we are using the same web platform called Portrait in where we simply put those point clouds together. And this helps to anybody to view those point clouds together as well as make a note what has happened, what has changed because uh, instead of, uh, let's say, LiDAR data and drone data we can also include uh, that same drone data from different time steps. So let's take a look uh, what we did in my previous episodes. We had one point cloud uh, from one of our study building and uh, in here we have a point uh, distance about 1.4 centimeters and then we also have one point cloud which was generated through landboard LiDAR data. And in here, the point distance is about 25 centimeters. So how to combine those point clouds together? Because our study building, which I refer in this view, is actually just about uh, in this location. Actually, to combine those point clouds together is really easy because the only things that we need to do is to generate uh, one additional HTML file in where we just uh, copy those different scripts together which then use Portrait functionality and enables us to show those point clouds together. So let's do that. I'm showing you the state in where I am right now. I do have two different HTML files and those HTML files are also available in my server. So now I just want to include one more HTML file which combines two different point clouds. And those point clouds are already uploaded into separate folders. Yes, that's how I look those uh, also in my browser right now, but separately. So mp3 is just a name of a study building and then a general view about the area, which is from landboard data. Let's generate combined HTML file. At first, I just do a quick copy and uh, let's call it appropriately. For example, maybe I use name like so. And now I will edit this file. So I right click and open up any notepad or any text editor, which I have. I can use a default Windows editor as well but I do have a notepad++ which makes it a bit easier to see the code. So I open it up and then I scroll down and in here I see a section in where I actually turn to my point cloud. So current point cloud is my land board and uh, perhaps I also recall and it's easier than to make note which one is which. So I also have here maybe land board LiDAR and then I open up a second HTML in where I do have this study building um, which has been generated through drone survey. I open this up with my notepad and I will copy actually this section. Yes, I copy it and I paste it into this section like so. I also change my name so that um, I can more easily understand and then I also maybe include in here a different name. Let's put for example also a date at which time this drone survey was carried out and as such I can easily include other sections as well. Meaning that for example if I want to show or be able to share different um, time steps or time frames then I can just copy those over. Of course, I need to generate this point cloud first. I need to upload this new point cloud as well into separate folder. But uh, it's not a 
kind of limitations that you can use only two. You can use as many as you want. In this example we just combine two point clouds. Okay, I think that we are good here, meaning that uh, we have changed those names. I hit save and uh, close both files. And now I just need to upload this HTML into my web server, in where my portrait is, yes? So I just drag it uh, into correct folder, like so. And now I do have it here. Next step is really, really easy, which means that uh, I open up my browser and I will simply change now the name of my HTML file. Yep, like so. I hit enter. And now to be able to view it in a correct location, I just double click one of my files. As you see, those are renamed so that uh, anybody can understand which one is which. So I double click and then I can see uh, my LIDAR data, which is once again, three by four kilometers area. And if I zoom in to the location in where my study building is, my drone survey has been carried out here, yeah? I can directly see it in here. And because my landboard LIDAR data is uh, about 25 centimeter point distance and my drone survey is much more tense, it is really easy to see that uh, my drone survey data is kind of um, coming up and uh, I can see it through my landport data, yes? So if I increase my point budget, I can get very nice uh, visual kind of uh, view. And uh, in such a way, I can also compare different uh, time frames, what has changed. And also I can use different measurement tools, area, volume, and once again, anybody can do it as long as this link is available. And of course, I can just uh, close one of my point cloud and then I can see just one or the other. And again, I have plenty of uh, flexibilities in here, how I can take a look into this data. Okay, so that's how we can combine two or many more point clouds together. And we can share a link and anybody can take a look. And also you can take a look because as long as this uh, link is available, you can find it from the video description. Please practice by yourself, take a look and also comment if you want to. See you in my next video. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.